two. Gonzalo Higuain. I can't believe the referee's not going to book him. Neither can the San Siro fans. Not for the foul, of course. He's not happy with the decision. As unhappy as he might be, he's taken four to five seconds and then kicked the ball away. Very fortunate to get away without a yellow card. In the book of referee Daniele Orsato. Right in front of the referee, so I can only think that the challenge is overzealous, yes. Leading with both feet. Too strong there in the challenge. Didn't get enough of the ball. To water. The shooting opportunity arises. The lovely take that Hamsik made in the middle of the park before that. A diminutive Insigne to take the corner. Hamsik back to Insigne. There's Gukan in there. Well, he feels he ought to score more than he does. His left foot strike back across goal. Absolutely no chance for Raphael. I was saying that's perhaps one of the best routes for goal, either a cross that Napoli don't deal with or a strike from Hernanes from around about that area, perhaps even further. That chance came about. Hernanes, one of the players back there for Inter at the set piece, is Raul Albiol, who is about to be cautioned. Referee Orsato, clearly feeling there was intent behind that from Britos. Looks as if he couldn't get out of the road from it. To be perfectly honest, that's that ball from Insigne. And Danovic deciding to punch. Probably a good decision, given that he was going to come into contact with Higuain or Juan or both. Freedom of the Mayatza. I thought he must be offside, and it is very close. The advantage going to the striker, like it should do, really poor finish from Insigne. Looking over at the end of that to the linesman, hoping that the flag had actually gone up, but it hadn't. And he's really just got to play that to Handana, which is left. I don't think there's enough room to wrap that to the near post. Very decent effort. Bounces just in front of Handanovic. Higuain zooming in on any re rebound that fell his way. Gets a little bit fortunate. He certainly felt he'd been fouled. That wasn't the view of... Display of descent from Gonzalo Higuain. And he knows what's coming. Yellow card. We've seen such a display before in this match decision the first half was always going to get booked the next time he complained she has to leave the replays prove me correct Vidic got more than a handful of Higuain shirt not only in that instance there again I mean how on earth is that not a free kick and the official behind the goal it's got to help the referee and referee out. Or Sato shouldn't be missing it. But between the three of them, the linesman there that side as well. This is the one that Inter felt they should have had. Zari's not happy. It's another jolt to the Inter system. And who knows what this means in the grand scheme of things. Walter Mazzari, the former Napoli coach. He looks on in disbelief. It's Cajajon's goal. And it's 1-0 to the Vesuviani. Well, there's the set piece that Owen Hargreaves predicted at half-time. And here's a mistake as well. Between Vidic and Dodo. In particular, Dodo, it has to be said, if he's going to come in from the left-hand side into the middle of the park, he's got to shout to his teammate that he's going to head it. Because once he doesn't, Cajajon's got acres, plenty of time, plenty of space. He never really doubted that he'd find the right finish. Slight deflection. Just changing the trajectory, taking away from Handanovic, but it'd beat him anyway. Inter needed Freddy Guarín. He's only been on the pitch for a matter of seconds. He wasn't picked up. And Guarín plays the role of super sub to perfection. Well, the officials just talking it over. The goal stands. Even Steven. Well, if you're going to make, if you are under pressure of losing your job, then that's one way of saving it. On the pitch, just over a minute. First touch of the ball. You can't miss, in truth, but it's a good gamble. Onto the back post, and this is because he's come on as substitute, so it won't be a surprise that no. Where Mazzari, I mentioned him getting excited. 
far too excited for Osato's liking. Has done it again. Astonishing. Too many inter defenders standing stock still. And Jose Callejon says thank you very much. And Napoli might well have the lead for good now. What a goal. I have said that Napoli don't deserve to take all three points, but this calibre of goals or fit to win any game. Lovely one-two, in, in actual fact, between Callejon and Lopez. A really good run. You're right, Derek, he was the only one on the move. It's a lovely finish. On his wrong foot, has to keep his eyes on the ball, make perfect contact with it. Just side foots it past Handanovic. The really good two goals that Callejon has scored. He's been quiet for large spells, but that ends up winning. demonstrating in front of their owner that they have the stomach for the fight what a crazy crazy game didn't look as if it looks as if we could stay here all night we wouldn't get a goal and suddenly we've got four of them and Hernanes like Callejon in the opposite area a couple of minutes ago is the only man in the move Dodo just stands it up to the back post and Hernanes mentioned in the first half I'd be surprised if he scores in the air he's just surprised me and he scores it because he's on the move no one else in a Napoli shirt is, and it's a really good header when he gets there. It gives Rafael absolutely.